Well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? <gasps> oh, my God. He's dead. Oh. already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. I'm almost finished.
That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. But come on, let's go. The victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. I know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond me. Idea stage. You tell me about it, you Scott. Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We we're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Your son is dead, Lauren. Getting yourself killed is not going to bring him back to life. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Lauren! once again in my arms.
Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fu- Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dog? You can shoot up in hell, motherfucker! Man, I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah, and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Mad. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you 